Some have stated that the Senate's advisor and consent role in the elevation of Supreme Court justice, of any Supreme Court justice for that matter, is the most important power that we in the Senate here exercise. Now, I don't happen to share that view as important as I take my responsibilities today and through this process, because I happen to feel that confronting the issue of wars we did only last January and attempting to bring government spending under control are among the more significant responsibilities that we have. And of course, I think the, uh, the Constitution doesn't quite elevate the confirmation process quite this high as, as the uh, Constitution indicates uh, in the advice and consent role because it is spelled out in Chapter 2 with executive powers and not with the legislative powers in Article 1. So I think the Constitution itself kind of says it's not a preeminent legislative power. <laughs>